Uh, Jordan says toxic backlinks indicated from SEM rush. Do you, I think he meant to say always disavow in Google search console and quickly. So we are currently, but wondering if we could slow our roll to once per every couple of months. Um, okay. Yeah, I would, I haven't done it in a long time, but yeah, I would, I, I didn't do it. Like I would just go quarterly or maybe even biannual, like, you know, um, every, every six months or so I would, uh, that's when I would do it. I have a, a, a pest control company that they had an employee that, um, I guess left on bad terms or was fired or whatever. And he, well, at least the, the owner thinks it was this ex employee, um, started spamming the site with backlinks, but shitty backlinks, like really awful anchor texts, like stuff. I'm not even going to repeat on this public company hangout. Um, like really just awful stuff. And so when I was, when and this was back when I first took the client on, which was shit. That's five, at least four years ago, maybe closer to closer to five now. And so I, I was actually pitching the client on SEO services when I happened to look at their backlink profile. And when I look at started look, and I was using Majestic SEO at the time, uh, but I noticed like you know all these awful anchor texts that were pointing to the site. And in fact, those were like the primary anchor texts were like all these really disgusting, awful things that, <laughs> that were being is. And so <clears throat> that was actually really what kind of helped me land that client was because I, I shared the data uh, from the Majestic report and showed, I was like, look, you're getting spammed, man. You're getting negative SEO essentially. And, uh, and I said, this is, you know, this could be a real issue. If it has, if it hasn't already caused a problem, it, it, it certainly is going to. And so that was part of the reason it became urgent all of a sudden for him to get that cleaned up. And that's part of the reason I ended up landing that client. And one of the things that I did was I would just export um, the link list from Majestic and then sort by, you know, uh, the, those awful anchor texts. And then I would submit all those URLs to the disavow, um, you know, Google, the, I would disavow those, right. As a disavow file. And it would something, but the guy, the guy was persistent as hell. So again, about every three months, at least originally, initially, uh, I did it for about the first year, about every three months I would go in and resubmit the, a new disavow file because additional links would you know, index or appear that were crappy negative SEO links. Um, but, you know, over time it, and it absolutely helped. I was able to get the site to rank really, really well. So those links were not hurting. Now I know a lot of people say, don't, don't ever use disavow, uh, you know, don't ever disavow links with Google search console. I know people, tin, tinfoil hats say, because you're just feeding Google data, all that, but I've recovered several sites that had penguin penalties by disavowing links. Um, it's not something I do regularly anymore because all the SEO stuff that I do now doesn't re, you know, it's, it's very rare that, that I come across people that I have to, you know, or, or sites that have to do that kind of stuff. I don't recommend, um, link cleanup jobs. It's, it's a pain in the ass. It's very tedious, but if you've already got a client and this is an issue, then yeah, as far and again, there's probably different opinions, even from my partners, but for me personally, I have had been successful many times by disavowing shitty links. So, and I, and like I said, I did it quarterly initially, and then I went to about every six months. And to be honest, I probably haven't even looked in about the last two years now for that particular client, but he's, he's kicking ass. So it doesn't matter. So what do you guys think? Um, Mark, have you got an opinion on that? Yeah, I've never disavowed a link and never will. There you go. Point in case. Yeah. So. Um, I think it, it's a matter. Yeah. I like, I'm in the middle, right? So you guys are right. Like I always disavow and never disavow. Um, I think that. Uh, Google is kind of uh, intelligent enough at this point so that it will tell what kind of links are, you know, bringing in um, or, or are more valuable than others. And it all comes down to what Marco was saying, you know, if those links are bringing in traffic and authority and, you know, relevance and whatnot. Um, but it all comes down to uh, what do you see in the rankings? Are they, they fluctuating? Are they piling up? Like it's normal that your website will have a couple of backlinks that they're not there because there's a lot of websites that are just like scraping links left and right. So, um, so, uh, so, so yeah, that's, that's what I would say. Like don't touch it unless it, it really goes down. Are they piling up? So. Well, yeah, and I agree say. with, I agree with what Hernan said. If it's not causing any negative effects, then don't, bo don't bother, uh, Jordan. But that's also, if you've already started doing that though, and it's, and, and you're not seeing any negative effects, then I would almost say don't not submit the disavow file because it could be that 
uh, the reason it hasn't shown any negative effects is because you've been submitting. So whatever, if, if, if you're currently comfortable with the situation, it, whatever it is that you're doing, either submitting it or not submitting it, but you're comfortable with the results, then keep doing what you're doing is what I'm saying. Um, but uh, typically, like I said, I, I, I knew Marco was, I, I kind of assumed that Marco was going to uh, counter what I said, but you know, I, I don't, I haven't done it in probably two years, like I said, guys, but I used to do it when needed and it was fine. I, I was actually able to successfully recover several sites that way. But again, I've no other people that say never, never, never submit a disavow file, but I kind yeah, of agree but- with Hernan too, just in that Google has gotten a lot better to determine which links are valuable and which ones aren't. And they kind of just disregard the non-valuable links. It's called the distance graph algorithm, right? I wrote about it in 2015. That's when it kicked in. That's when Google started just not paying attention to, to the garbage links and really paying attention to, to quality links from trusted authoritative uh, sources. The more trusted and authoritative uh, the source in the niche, that's what we always say relevance. Right? We say art, activity, relevance, trust, and authority. That's what activates the, the distance graph algorithm. So it's not really tinfoil hat. It, the, the reason why I I, I, I I always say fuck Google anyway. I, 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 could, I could give a shit what they do. But this is actually something that's, that's, that's based on science. Google it just doesn't pay attention to, to the garbage links. Whatever the... the, the they're pointing at you, Google will give them less and less and less authority as time goes by. They might have an effect initially, but you don't really have to disavow them because they, they, they won't really count since they have no trust or authority. Now, if you have traffic coming through those, let, let, let me just clarify. If you have traffic coming through those garbage links, then they can become powerful enough to really affect your website. Yeah, and I'm not gonna get into how to do negative uh, <laughs> SEO or how or how to change the semantic relationship of a website. You can really screw somebody over really bad just by changing the semantic relationship of the website. And there's ways to do it, which I won't get into in this forum. 